right. Shalom, shalom. It's brother Zoraya Allah down here at the GMS G camp. Back with another lesson through the spirit power of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. That's committed to do so. Uh, before I get started, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chaha Kodash. Got my honors to our apostles and elders of Ray Milson. Peace, love, and salutations to the whole family. And uh, Shalom to you, Akim, out there. That's what Christian was born to choose to Syria. May the election be upon your house. All right, uh, this, this lesson is going to be entitled. Quick hit in transit, all right, concerning the, uh, the blood movement, okay. Um, but first, uh, I want to get this scripture um, because you know the Lord, you know, told us to come out, come out and, and prophesy, man, teach His word, show our people our transgressions, all right, lift thee up the banner, all right, spare not, cry aloud, you know, roughly paraphrasing, all right, supposed to be in season, out of season, man. okay, watching. You know, prophecy being fulfilled, seeing the things that are going on, you know, given the, the, the daily news, man, we're supposed to be feeding the elect daily to, to warn them and let them know what is to come, okay? So this is Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 17. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman. Right, the Lord Yahweh Shah has made us a watchman, man. He called in, He called us into this truth, you know, to do this work, to be a, to be a prophet, man. The, 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 the spirit of the prophets are subject unto the prophets, okay? So if you were uh, prophesying back then, you, you're you more than likely going to prophesy now, man, okay? And the only thing that you need to be worried about is making sure that you're teaching the, the correct doctrine, man, given, you know, the uh, the, the sheep, okay, the, uh, the right uh, uh, doctrine so they can be, you know, uh, correctly warned and be able to prepare for themselves for battle. Matter of fact, I'll just get that. Okay. This is First Corinthians chapter fourteen, and verse eight. It says, "For if the trumpet." give an uncertain sound who shall prepare himself to battle right so if, if we're not teaching that the, the the MOTB is the microchip if we're not teaching that the so-called hell okay is a, is, a, is a Roman Catholic doctrine okay and that's not the truth okay that's not you know the lake of fire by World War three okay then we're not giving okay the correct sound man okay we're not blowing the correct trumpet okay for war Okay, we're not telling our people, okay, that Esau Edom, okay, is a so-called white man, and he's getting ready to uh, to bring great wrath upon the nation of Israel, and this is the damn enemy, you can't trust him. Okay, how, how can people prepare themselves, man? Okay, how can they put on the whole armor of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, which is the scriptures, and his wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, okay, to be able to maneuver through the spirit, okay, in that evil day, and now, man, practice it now, because what, we're rehearsing the righteous acts. So we have to gear ourselves up for battle, getting all our armor, okay, and then putting it up on our body, man. So when it's devil, okay, send these 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 trickeries, the deceit, okay, we're able to defend ourselves through your Yahweh Shai. All right. So I'm gonna go back to Ezekiel. All right. Ezekiel. Let's lock it. Ezekiel chapter three and verse seventeen. It says, "Son of man, I have made thee." A watchman unto the house of Israel. Okay, so hey, we have a very important job, man, to preach this word. It says, "I made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel, Yashar Allah." Okay, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Arab Americans and Simeon Indians. It says, "Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give the warning for me." So we're supposed to be tuning in, okay, to, to, to lessons. We're supposed to be tuning into the news, to the to elders and apostles, and seeing what's going on so what we can give our people the warning man we can blow that trumpet all right because uh as you know it was a a, a, a blood moon all right and it's still you know it's still out there because you know it's like five something in the morning all right but uh the spirit had it where i ended up waking up at you know 4 40 this morning you know and i checked the chat and they were talking about the blood moon and, and we know that what four represents you know mercy not saying know that I, I'm the elect, but that was just a uh, very spiritual to see that, man. And, and to water your how about you shot for giving, you know, me that sign, man, to, to wake up and, and do this lesson on the way to the plantation. 
All right. So it says the wild strawberries that are uh, start to ripen during the early summer gave names to full moon. Other names for the full moon are rose moon, hot moon, mad moon. All right. And then as you can see, there's the picture right there, man. That's a that's a blood moon, man. Okay. And what did the scripture say about the blood moon? All right. This is a uh, Acts the second chapter in verse 18. It says, and on my servants and on my handmaids, I will pour out in those days of, I will pour out in those days of my spirit and they shall prophesy. And what are we prophesying? Okay. We're prophesying that what? That the MOTV is coming. This digital currency is coming. You just had uh, that the guy uh, with, with the whole Bitcoin thing uh, was, was, uh, was killed, man. I believe he was shot to death, if I'm not mistaken. You know, so that's a sign, man. Okay. This is just. This, this, the blood moons is a sign for the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahshai to let us know that we are in the last days, man. And the Lord is putting, you know, spirits on, on, on women, you know, to have dreams. My rib had a dream uh, the other day, you know. So it, it's a lot of things that are that are going on, man. We have to continue to stay in the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahshai so we can be ready for all right, the day that he crack open those clouds and the day that Esau decides to make, you know, this MOTV uh, mandatory, man. All right. So it says, verse 19, and I will show wonders in heaven and above and signs in the earth beneath blood and fire and vapor of smoke. OK, so it's not the Lord showing signs. All right. The Lord is showing us signs, man, that what we are in the last days, man. Well, hey, we're closer than close, man. OK, Romans 13 chapter says that what your your salvation is near than we believe. It's high time to wake out of sleep. Merely uh, paraphrasing, man. OK. So we're waking up out of that, you know, uh, the, the, the dry bones is, is waking up out of that, that dead state, man. Okay. From what? From the warning that we've been giving them, man. Okay. Starting from our elders and apostles on down. It says, verse 20, the sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before that great and notable day of the Lord Yahweh Shem Yashai. Did not, the Lord didn't come yet, man. Okay. So this blood moon is, is before Yahweh Shem Yashai come, although... We don't know the exact day, okay? But that's a sign showing you that, hey, he, he, he's coming, okay? He's on his way. The Lord Yahweh Shem Yashai is on his way to redeem his elect and to destroy Babylon the Great, man, okay? Because if he if he doesn't come quickly, what? No flesh shall be slave. This damn devil will be able to fulfill his uh, uh, his uh, new world agenda, man, okay? And it says, verse 21, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved, man. Okay, meaning what? You have to know the names of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, man, and you have to be the elect, okay? Starting with the nation of Israel, because it says right here, verse uh, 22, Ye men of Israel, hear these words, Yahweh Shai of Nazareth, a man approved of Yahweh among you by miracles, wonders, and signs, which Yahweh did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know man okay so the lord is is working miracles man the fact that you know this truth and you woke up you know to hear these lessons or to read the scriptures and understand it man because it was it was one day when we would pick up you know the bible didn't know anything that it was talking about we didn't know prophecy we didn't know the lord's name okay so that's a beautiful sign a miracle in itself man okay that you're able to call on the true names of our lord and savior man and our heavenly father all right so you know that, that, that that's a sign man Okay, and it's, a, and it's a beautiful miracle. I just got this last precept and I'm going to close out. Okay, because what? Yahweh Bashem Yahshua is coming quickly, man. So we have to be on our P's and Q's and, and, and ready to give that warning. All right. It says, Revelation chapter 22 and verse 12. It says, And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be, man. So if you're doing righteous works, man, you're going to receive a, a righteous reward, man. Okay, the scriptures speak about store of your treasures that are in heaven, man, or neither moth or uh, or do corrupt, roughly paraphrasing, man. Okay, so we're storing up our, our treasures in heaven, man. So when that war come and the Lord, hey, this is what you're gonna have for eternity. Okay, we're gonna be uh truly, you know, hey, tears of joy, man. Okay, tears of joy. All right, and then the ones who want to continue to uh do those wicked works, okay, deceiving, okay, our people, okay, for filthy lucre's sake. Okay, the ones who are truly sincere, the ones who fell out this truth and didn't endure to the end, the ones who scoff. Okay, the Lord got it out bad for you people, man. All right, and it said, what? He's coming quickly, man. Okay, matter of fact, let's get that word quickly. 
water quickly. The Greek word it says tyko. It says quickly, speedily, without delay. Okay, so the Lord is not delaying. The Lord Yahweh Shai cannot wait until the Heavenly Father gives him the green light to come and, and, and bring war, man. Okay, the scripture speak about how he's going to come as a travailing uh, woman, man. Okay, because when a woman is in, in travail, she's given uh let she has in labor pains, man. So meaning she's she's screaming on the top of her lungs, and that's that war cry that the Yahweh Shai is going to bring. Okay, to Babylon the Great, man. And we cannot wait for that day, man. We cannot wait until. Babylon, this this great whore is being uh, destroyed and burnt up with fire, man. Okay, because we need to get the hell up out of here, man. This place is truly wicked. Okay, we cannot wait to see the enemies, our enemies, okay, kingdom being destroyed, man. And a new righteous kingdom being uh, set up upon the uh, planet Earth, man. Okay, so with that, you know, Lord willing, this uh, lesson was edifying to the hopeful elect. I'm going to give all praise out of the glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rechah HaKodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Kazakh Shalom to the whole full lit. Phone Yashuralam, Wakla Babo, Shalom.